Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I thought that I would show you an actual five minute makeup for those of you who do not have time to get ready in the morning. I know most days I don't really have time to do like full glam and most people don't. Most people don't have time to do anything. So I thought that this video would be really helpful if you wanna look presentable and if you wanna look like put together, lifted and glowy without having to spend a lot of time doing your full routine. I'm gonna put on a little headband so that I can get all my hair out of the way. And full disclosure, I already did my hair last night, so um, my hair is already kind of done. But if you don't have time to do your hair, I recommend just like throwing it in a little slick bun or something, and then you'll look really put together. So I'm going to start out with some sunscreen. This is the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum 46. It is non-comedogenic so it won't make you break out and if you have sensitive skin i suggest using something like this this also does work for darker skin tones because it is tinted and it's pretty clear so it won't give you that white cast that a lot of sunscreens do so i just put this everywhere as my base and i feel like i'm allergic to a lot of sunscreens they're not allergic but i get like little bumps so this is the only sunscreen that really works for my skin. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my favorite Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to put that everywhere. This also creates a really beautiful glowy base. And I use my fingers just to evenly distribute it all over my face. Look at that glow, so so pretty sorry i didn't upload for like two weeks because i have been traveling i went to cabo and then i went straight to miami and my friends have been visiting me in town in la for the past week too so i've been a little off the grid as far as youtube goes but it's so nice to have a balance to make time for your friends and just like traveling having fun and not taking life too seriously at times i'm going to use the vanish concealer from hourglass this is color apricot and i'm just going to start concealing in the areas that need a little extra coverage i have some breakouts there and then on the forehead i'm going to actually use my fingers today because we don't have a lot of time we're just gonna melt that concealer into the skin and just blend it really nicely with our base. And because the base is so dewy, the concealer blends really beautifully on top of that and it almost creates a foundation. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna start blending that all together. And this just creates a really natural looking base. Next up, I'm going to contour my face quickly with the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is shade medium dark, I think. Oh no, this is fair medium. And I'm just going to blend this with my beauty blender. And I like to contour where my natural cheekbone kind of falls. So you can tell when you go like this, where your face wants to be contoured. I'm just going to blend that in. For blush, I'm gonna use my favorite hourglass um, blush stick. This is color Sacred, and I like to just go on the upper parts of my cheekbones to give a lifted effect on my nose, and then I'll take a little bit on my finger and then just kind of blend that on top of my eyes for a little eyeshadow as well. Once again, I'm going to just take my beauty blender and blend that out. Look how gorge that is. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face with my favorite Dermablend setting powder. I put it in the cap like this and I'll use my beauty blender. Even though it's damp, it doesn't matter. And I'll just kind of pack it on the areas that I want to be matte. 
I think that when you apply powder with a beauty blender, it stays longer. And now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Curl my lashes. This is the YSL, let's see, Lash Clash Mascara. It has a really pretty bottle too. Look at that. So pretty. Ooh, that looks so nice. Very lengthening. Wow, this is amazing mascara. Look how long my lashes look. That's insane. I'm just going to quickly brush up my brows with the Anastasia Brow Freeze. And I'm gonna use the back end of my Refi pencil that I'm gonna fill them in with after. This just keeps your brows in place all day and gives them a really nice brushed up look. You can brush them up and kind of form them however you want, but I like to just kind of keep mine natural in the direction they're already going, but just brush them up like a tiny bit more. While those dry, I'm going to do my lips because I only have a few minutes to get ready. Normally I do my lips after I leave and I'll do it in the car right before I show up. But I'm gonna show you guys now because obviously I'm going to be using the Dibs liner in shade two, I believe. And I'm just going to overline a little bit my top lip. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite Dior Lip Glow in shade 12. It's a really nice little pinky nude. Do a little. And then I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with the Refi Pencil and just do a few strokes just to get those hair-like strokes there and fill them in a tiny bit. I mainly only fill them in on the bottom or like on the edge just to bring them out a little bit more. Okay, so this is the final look. Super glowy, just easy and fresh for every day. I have to run, but I'm gonna be posting another video on Tuesday and that is going to be my extensive nighttime skincare routine, which is like my holy grail, everything that I do at night to wake up glowing and fresh. So you have that to look forward to. I linked all the products below that I used today and I will see you in the next video.